Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the Monster video. So in today's video, I'm back with another Monster Hunter video. And in today's video, this is going to be all about cosmic monsters. So on Sunday, uh, when I was live streaming, uh, I told you guys that I will be making a video on the best cosmic monsters in the game. Uh, which ones to rank up and stuff like that. So this video will help you out with that. Um, and in the comments down below, if you disagree with anything, let me know in the comments down below. And I'd go ahead and respond to most of them okay so go ahead and let me know in the comments down below after watching the whole thing um you guys can let me know in the comments down below uh if you disagree with anything or if you agree with them just let me know okay but anyways i hope you guys are excited for today's video if you are drop a like and also subscribe to the channel with notifications on we're getting closer and closer to 100,000 subscribers so help me out guys anyways let's go on and get started so for this list i wanted to use monster Legends competitive wiki because they have a lot of info about uh, these monsters which ones are the best which ones are really not that good you know like from the best to worst i guess you could say so reviewing the best ones okay these are the best cosmic monsters of all time uh at the moment these are the best okay so we have bombera so the thing with bombera is that it's a megaton monster it's still being used even in, on pvp uh because it's a great you know tank monster and so many players have access to this monster uh the nice thing about it is, it is that it has clan skills also a heal skill for himself and the regen to all allies after cleansing everything that's actually really really good he also has a daze temper skill so i really really like bombetta in general i still run this monster especially on for example um wars but on pvp sometimes from time to time i use it now i have only fanatic that i use uh so yeah and then i also have cryo crawler of course and we're gonna get into cryo crawler as well okay now moving on to chuckle muckle this is one of my favorite cosmic monsters at the moment and i am working on ranking it up right now to the max i currently have it to rank three but ho hopefully soon i'll be able to get it to rank five and you know uh, get the best out of this monster so uh this monster uh, has pyrophobic shield and also anticipation of the trade trade wise is great also stat wise you have uh what's it called a lot of speed you have like 5970 something if i remember correctly let me click on it once again i remember uh 5951 actually i was kind of close 5951 speed i mean that's actually pretty good i've got to say so she's definitely fast um and not just that once again uh she is in many books so for example in wars you can use her um in almost every restrictions almost every restriction okay uh then you have cryo crawler this is basically a version of bombita but it's just a denier uh but the nice thing about cryo crawler what makes it even better is that he has taunt so you have access to taunt which is really good uh something bombita doesn't have so you have taunt as a trait not as a status catcher and later on of course you get mega taunt just like bombita so uh that taunt is actually pretty good and she he's actually a pretty good denier i've got to say uh but uh, he doesn't have any clan skills like bombita or healing skills so yeah but uh he gets a job done too so if you want a good uh, tank you can choose either bombetta or cryo crawler then we have vampira shell vampira shell players still use it especially in wars i've still seen it a ton uh like the top teams right now they still use vampira and uh she's actually great i mean you can use her as an attacker or you can just fold, run full speed and you'll be fine too. I really like her relic slots too. The fact that she can hold a uh, banner. So you could give like Mr. Beast banner or something. Or charging banner so that she keeps recharging that stamina. Since she's an extra turner attacker. I mean if you're going to run as an attacker that's great. But you can run it with full speed and that works too. Uh, Linworm, this is, I mean, <laughs> shall we even talk about Linworm? Linworm is just great in, in many ways. Uh, so yeah, he has this, like the AoE baby version that stops enemies. You also have Greater Times Curse. You have Aero Traveler. So many skills to choose from. So yeah, Linworm is one of the best, um, what's it called, cosmic monsters to rank up. So if you haven't ranked up your uh, Linworm, I recommend doing it. Then you have a Lord Platypus, okay? So Lord Platypus, I remember when this monster came out, uh, and I thought it was broken. It wasn't really broken, but uh, the monster, I told you guys, it's going to be a really good one. And look, look at this. It's OP. It's literally the best. It's uh, You see this? The best? Yeah, okay. So, yeah, uh, Lord Platypus is one of the best uh, because um, the fact that he applies that AoE dodge area to all your monsters. So you can run, for example, one Mega Taunt. You can run uh, an attacker on your team and then Lord Platypus with full speed just so that you could apply that waiting to hunt skill that applies a dodge area, which is actually pretty good. Especially the fact that um, the Mega Taunt is going to be taking all your income damage. And if the enemy isn't running any single target skills, uh, which I doubt, but uh, if they do, uh, or if they're not, you know, running any single target skills then all, all of their aoe skills will be missed uh so they, they can only hit with their single target if that makes sense uh but yeah lord platypus is a pretty great monster definitely rank it up now moving on to shelly in my personal opinion shelly is the best 
cosmic tank in the game right now and many of you guys can agree with that if not all what makes smelter so special is that once shelly dies she can come back with an sn and then you can regain your megaton you can heal yourself do whatever uh shelly has all those stuff you can heal yourself you can also go ahead and apply positive effect protection which is actually great uh something that many other uh megaton monsters can do uh especially uh What's called cosmics now i mean we're talking about cosmics right now right so yeah um not just that but most importantly i'm not sure if i mentioned but shelly can come back with an sn and then you can regain the megaton so that's what makes this monster so special just because of that uh then we have tabora okay tabora and the dew these two are basically the same it's just that the dew has an anticipation and also uh and my, i think i'm pretty sure the two has better stats as well if i remember correctly uh and not just that but you can go ahead and remove positives in the beginning, get an extra turn, and then trade disable all the enemies. Something Tabora can't do. Tabora, all of that will be in one skill, which is not that good because if there's a Megaton in the enemy team, you're just basically trade disabling the Megaton and removing positives. But in this case, if you have the two, you can go ahead and cleanse that Megaton, get an extra turn, and then trade disable all of them. And also, uh, I believe the two also holds an Atzen, if I remember correctly. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, is it mentioned here? Recommend relics. Yeah, your lesson. Okay, so yeah, you know, the dude can come back as well. It's just like Tabora. Now I want to move on to the S rank, okay? S rank is great, but it's not as best as OP rank, the ones that we just uh, went ahead and reviewed. So these are great. You can go on and rank these ones up as well, but it's just that they're not the best of all, I guess you could say, the best cosmics of all time, but they're pretty good, okay? So we have Arbat, CDM monster, right? The only problem is that uh, Arbat can't cleanse, so that's why you can pair it up with the Dew or Tabora. So if you have those two, pair it up with Arbat, you're great. Dryadus, you have, you know, Pierce as a trade, you can go ahead and damage the enemies a by a lot, and not just that, but also you can go ahead and remove full salmon from the enemies by running Jazz of Stars Mask and also uh, Shares' Amulet. If you have those two relics, go ahead and give it. Uh, Hardy, Great Anticipation Monster, you can still use it up to this date right now. Uh, I use it in top team wars, 3 coin or most of the time 3 coins. Um, and yeah, Hardy is still usable and definitely a heavy hitter, I've got to say. So that's also worth ranking. Uh, Ignis, this monster was a race monster. So, you know, if you didn't get a chance to get it or let's say you got it only to like rank 1 or 2, you can still rank it up, maybe just for rewards and stuff like that. Uh, but maybe PvP can still use it. I don't know, um, I, I really don't have much to say about Ignis, but I've got to say that it is a pretty good monster, especially um, his ultimate I kind of like, and uh, yeah, he does have like cleanse skills and stuff like that, and if your team, you know, ever needs to heal or something, he's there to heal them, so great supporter. Kodama, CDA monster, it's basically like Arbat, but uh, if I remember correctly, you can hold a staff, right? Let me see. No, you can't. Okay, so it's just amulet, and that's it, right? Amulet and mask. So you can do shares of amulet with Jazzy's mask, remove full stamina after hitting them with TDA, which is something Arbat can't do. Now, don't get me wrong. Arbat could still do it, but it doesn't have the same exact relic slots. You have a staff. So maybe you could go with Pumpseed Staff, do the same exact thing. But in my personal opinion, I'm, I've got to say Kodama's better. I just like Kodama better because um, I'm pretty sure his trait has resurrection block, if I remember correctly. So that's a nice thing because against monsters that basically resurrect and stuff, it's a good thing to have. Let me see the traits again. So yeah, there we go, resurrection block, I remember it. Now before we move on to Master Masher, remember guys, continue watching till the end because near the end of the video, I'm gonna let you guys know which ones are worth breaking up, okay? So continue watching till the end because I'll let you guys know which ones are worth breaking up so you can spend your Stardust on those monsters. But Master Masher, great monster paired up with Vampira because uh, it, you know Vampira has a bleeding seal and it's basically the wolf pack. You can just destroy the enemy with uh, any monster that applies bleed. For example, Vampira. That's why I mentioned Vampira because she is in the uh, OP rank list, okay? Robo Elf, I'm not a huge fan of anymore, but uh, it, the monster is decent at applying the tortures and stuff like that, but it can be cleansed by monsters like Ignis or any other monster that has clan skills, okay? So, I don't know. I mean, other than that, he can't really do much. Uh, Rodden, great resurrector. You have Rasalka, Vanos, and Zebra Fox near the end for S rank. And uh, I agree with this because all these three Pierce attackers, the thing with them is that, especially Super Fox, Super Fox could deal a ton of damage. You can go ahead and boost your power up with uh, Lazy Beam Sword and you also have Raider Mode, which will apply triple damage 
for Super Fox, and she can deal a ton of damage, okay? Uh, Vanos and Rosalka are also heavy hitters, so yeah, great monsters. We have great, this is A rank, okay? This is A rank. <laughs> so this is the A rank, and here's what we got. We got Daigil. This monster used to be really, really good. Still good, but not the best. That's why they put it over here, and I actually agree with the A rank, actually. Uh, Lightmare. Also a great monster, especially against monsters that apply shield, so you can go out and break their shield and steal a ton of damage. Great attacker. Nahain. The only thing that with Nahain is that uh, Nahain doesn't have any clan skills uh, because it is a possessor. It is a controller, so maybe you could pair it up with the Dew or Tabora. So they could take in the first turn, you know, cleanse the Megaton from the enemy so that you can apply your uh, possession and stuff like that. Then you have the Zodiac. Okay, they have it at A rank. Cool. Solar Flare. Uh, Solar Flare. And the reason why they didn't put this all the way up to, like, for example, S rank or OP rank is because Solar Flare does not start off with Megaton, but you do have a Megaton skill that you can apply as a skill. So, other than that, you know, you can't really start off with that Megaton. So that's why he's at A rank. Witch Cat, you know, this monster applies possession and stuff like that. It's a decent one. All right. Um, th this is the A rank, okay? So. That was A, A, or let's just call it A+, plus, and this is just A, all right? You have Black Fetter, Calamedic. Black Fetter can only possess, apply curse, and I'm pretty sure that's pretty much it. That's all Black Fetter could do, but it does have a pretty nice relic slot, so you can come back after you die. Uh, after Black Fetter dies, you can just come back because you, uh, you can just hold a your last end, so great relic slot. Calamedic, I'm actually a huge fan of Calamedic, I've got to say. Because of that one shield that he applies. It's really good. Ferris. Ferris's uh, light shield also help, helps out a ton. Especially in top team wars. So if you want to rank it up for top team wars. You know. We'll get back to it. Okay. We're going to get back to that. Frackbot PP monster. Only can stamina drain and stuff like that. Other than that he can't really do much. Uh, Iguanazar. We also have Kaidi Sun Melter. This used to be an exclusive Legends Pass monster right? <laughs> Man. <laughs> Uh, Cramp is a killjoy. Okay, I agree with that. Craster. Uh, now we have the other two monsters that removes life, by, like percentage life. Uh, what are they? Uh, the one that was in the recent Tales, Rucha, and then the one before that, Colonel Pep. Yeah, those are basically corrupted ones, and I recommend focusing on those instead. So don't spend any, you know, um, cosmic cells or what are they called now? Sardust, don't spend them on, on Craster, but we'll get back into that, okay? We're going to review all of them once again and I'll let you guys know real quick which ones are worth the ranking up. Lupinoto, A rank, okay? Noagnarok, also A rank. I feel like these two should be up in AA. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Brody, I agree with that. Roosmane, Dodge Area, yeah, I agree with that. Spitfire, <laughs> I feel like Spitfire should be B rank, I don't know. Steamwrath? Dreamer, Ulrika, Undead, Mr. Beast, and Varupapu. Yes, put them in here. Then you have B rank. These are just good. You have Vishama, Rhinata, Antonic Cosmic, Binshin, Captain Alvet, Henrich, Light, Ladalus, Aura and Laser Beam 2099. I agree with that. Uh, mediocre. This is the C rank, okay? So these are what you got. You got Firestar, Hyes, Kaguya. Most of these are PP monsters. See, uh, we also have the Free Legends Pass monster, which was Spawny. And I agree with this. It's like Hyper. It's such a letdown that this monster used to be an exclusive Legends Pass. Hacksmith, Golden Legends Pass. Atrox, which was free. Axel Mech, not a huge fan of that monster to be honest. Manipulate can only possess and that's it. Slugazoid, Damage Mirror trait, kind of good. But other than that, can only freeze and stuff like that. You have D rank. These are bad monsters, okay? So you have Chimney, Execute Master. I feel like Execute Master should be mediocre. He's not that bad. He's not terrible. Moonmang, all right. Pulses, Teddy VR, yes. And then you have the worst monsters. You should not be spending any Stardust on these monsters at all, okay? Necroletch, because guess what? You have yourself Rodden here. So I highly recommend ranking up Rodden instead of Necroletch because it's just a better Resurrector. You have Seaquick, okay? Don't spend any Stardust on him, especially him. You have Targan. You know what? You can actually just get a level 4 Targan because of that trait that he has, the positive effect protection or something, and you could apply that uh, evasion with Elvira's evasion, and they even can't really do much, honestly. Uh, so, 
It's pretty good I get in Team Wars. I've got to say, in Team Wars, Chargon is great. Uh, but other than that, I don't know. I, I, I'm not really a huge fan of Chargon, to be honest. Thunder Kong, extra turn attacker, not so good. I agree with that. All right, now moving on to going back to where I told you guys that I will let you guys know which ones to spend your uh, Stardust on and rank up, right? Which ones are worth it. Let's go on and start. So for the OP rank, you can go on and spend your Stardust on every single one of these monsters. But here's the thing. With the Dew and Tabora, I recommend spending your Stardust on the Dew. If you have the Dew, go ahead and spend your Stardust on this monster. But if you don't have the Dew, go on and go with Tabora, I guess. But I feel like, in my personal opinion, the Dew is like an upgraded version of Tabora. So if you have the Dew, rank that up instead of Tabora, okay? Um, and other than that, these monsters, all of them are worth ranking. Uh, but here's the thing, though. Um, if you don't have too many Stardust... You can go ahead and pick one of the tanks instead of going with every single one of them. So go ahead and rank up one of the uh, tanks to the max instead of getting like two of them to level 130s and that's it. So just work on one. And if you have Shelly, Shelly's the best tank in here. Rank that up. Uh, if you don't have Shelly, Cryocrawl or Bombetta, that's really up to you. Whichever one you like the most, whatever your playstyle is. Bombetta has cleanse skills. It's just a super supportive one as a tank. Cryocrawler is most likely like a denier tank if that makes sense chuckle one of the best once again i highly recommend ranking up chuckle for sure then you also have lindworm and the other ones you can go on and rank those up as well uh then you have s rank okay so s rank let me see uh here's the thing for s rank master matcher i recommend using uh Zardus, ranking it up dratus because of the pure straight and also you can you know remove full stamina from the enemies so as an attacker it's a really powerful one Something that these guys can't do. So literally every single one of these monsters right here, Rasalka, Vanos, and Zufrox that has Pierce, they can't do anything like Dratus can. You can damage the enemies and also remove a full stamina. You can even run a full speed Dratus just so that you can deal some damage and remove full stamina. And then maybe you can deny them and play along with that uh, that way. It also works. Uh, so yeah, I recommend you know picking up Dratus, ranking that up. Arbath was a PvP monster. It's really up to you if you want to rank up a cda monster that's really up to you to be honest um same thing with kodama literally same exact thing okay so choose one of them uh if you're gonna pick one of them i recommend ranking up kodama over our bath uh kodama used to be even better in gauntlets i remember master masher this is actually pretty good yes even in team wars you can use that and he can do a lot rodden great resurrector so if you need a resurrector for your team runs great but if you have equilaria you can go on and rank up Ecolaria instead, uh, which is a Crota monster, but we'll leave that for a different video. Daigale, okay? Daigale, attacker, here's the thing. These are better attackers, for example, like uh, Dratus. Once again, you also have Rosalica, Super Fox, and Vanos, and even Hardy. Uh, but yeah, it's really up to you if you want to rank up Daigale. So that, that's optional, okay? Light Mirrors, also optional. You know, it's really up to you. Nahane, no, don't spend your Sardis on Nahane. Same with Doria, don't do that. Solar Flare, that's also up to you, you know? But if you have one of these Mega Sun monsters, like for example, Shelly to the max, you have Cryo, you have Bombera, great. You don't really have to worry about Solar Flare, um, unless you need it for like a book, you know, a, a tank, uh, to just fill up one of the books and, you know, maybe use it for wars. For example, Fire Element, you know, you can go on and use it as a tank. Uh, Witch Cat, no. But other than that, uh, Blackfeather, don't, not really, to be honest. Calamedic, maybe for the shield. But hey, remember, you have Chuckle Muckle. So instead, rank that up. Uh, Ferris, shield for war, it's really good. Okay, so if you want to rank it up just for wars, if you're going to use it, yes, shield, it's good, great. Uh, don't spend it on Frackbot. Aegonazar, skip that. Kaisan Melter, also skip. Killjoy, skip. Craster, once again, we have Ruchaw and uh, Curdle Pip. You can go on and rank those up. Those are Crota monsters as well. I will leave that for a, a different video, so don't rank up your craster. Lupinoto, that's up to you, honestly. I don't really see much from Lupinoto, honestly. Uh, but if you want to go out and do it, that's optional. No Agnarok, you should have gotten it to 130 already, so... But if you want to get it to max, you know, you can. It's optional. Rhodey, don't, honestly. Reswain, yeah, he can restore cooldowns and stuff like that, but... I, I just don't see much from him, honestly. Spitfire, don't even bother okay don't spend a single star just on spitfire steam wrath this is actually pretty good in, in wars uh even pvp but mainly wars the fact that she can almost unlimitedly attack so yes you can spend your stardust if you want to the dreamer you can also use this in war because of the of his uh or her evasion you know 
the dreamer applies evasion you can use a level four megaton and you can like three coin bases so if you want to rank it up just for that go ahead and do it Ulrika? no there are better attackers Barpapu and undead master beast not even no um anyways moving on to these ones henrich is actually quite decent as a cda monster but if you're gonna rank up one of the cda monsters just focus on one instead of ranking up all at once if that makes sense so it's really up to you you want to pick henrich go ahead and do so if you want to pick up uh kodama go ahead and do so if you want to rank up arbat go ahead and do so once again uh so pick up one okay instead of picking like multiple unless you have many stardust to spend um antenna cosmic no Binksen, no captain alvet no <laughs> Every single one of these monsters that you see in here, don't. Okay, and they're not worth. Let me see. None of these monsters are really worth you know spending your Stardust on, to be honest. Skip that one too. Nope. Nothing in the bad rank. And same thing with the worst. Nothing. But if you want to get Targan just for that, uh, just to feed it up to level 4 and use his positive effect protection trait, that's kind of good. You can go on and do it. Uh, but in that, I don't see really much in him, so just use him in boards and that's it. So don't spend your Stardust. All you need is just the Ag and level it up to level 4 and that's it. Uh, but yeah, once again, you either pick the Dew or Tabora from here. And work on one or at least two tanks and get them up to 150. Okay, you don't have to do all three at once. Just work on one. Um, right now, I'm actually working on... My Bombetta, although not really, actually. I'm working on my Choco Muckle. I don't have too many Stardust. So I'm working on my Choco Muckle to rank it up to 150. And it's just because of that shield and the fact that she's in many books, how you can use it in wars. And possibly even PvP. Um, but yeah. So that is pretty much it. I hope this video helps you guys out. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. But that's pretty much it. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.